it's becoming increasingly apparent that the standard mo standard model of medicine where you just, you know, you diagnose, you treat, and you get paid, that that's not enough, right? And, and I think uh, part of the reason for that is because we... Um, We've be, we've become very very good at managing acute conditions, um, but one of the consequences of managing acute conditions is that that allows if you don't die from an infection, you're going to get diabetes when you get older, right? I mean, if you don't die at a young age, you're going to get cancer when you get older. So by managing, we are victims of our own success. By managing the acute stuff very well, we are developing all of this other chronic stuff that's much more complicated to treat, primarily because you don't have a single cause, right? I mean, if somebody comes with pneumonia, you can presume that it's caused by a single bacteria. And if you kill that bacteria, the problem is taken care of. If somebody comes with diabetes, just giving them insulin is often not enough. If you don't also correct, you know, their diet or, you know, how much exercise they're getting. And where the social determinants of health uh, come in is because, you know, all of this other lifestyle change that should be part of the treatment um, often is made either very, very difficult or sometimes impossible by a, pers a person's social situation, right? I mean, if you're homeless and I'm here talking to you about improving your diet, you're going to look at me and say, I sometimes don't have enough to eat. What are you talking to me about eating more, you know, fruits and vegetables? Um, and, and uh, um, you know, the same that is true for, for the medical side, it's, it's also true for behavioral health. I mean, um, it's something that I, um, and, and I mentioned that on my talk that I used to tell my patients that, you know, you're coming to me depressed, I'm going to prescribe you an antidepressant, take the pill. It's going to help you feel better. But when you're feeling better, you must seize the opportunity to as much as you can change your circumstances. Right. Because the catch 22 of, of depression is that when you are in the deepest, you know, depths of depression, you, you, you just don't have the energy to change your circumstances. Right. All you want to do is spend the whole day in bed. Um, but the trap that I think sometimes people fall into is that they take the medicine, the medicine starts, you know, helps with their symptoms. They feel better, but then they um, they just assume that that's that's it, that that's the treatment when it isn't. Right. I mean, that's just the beginning of the treatment. The medicine takes you out of the depths, but then you have to do as much as possible within your constraints, um, change your circumstances, because um, unfortunately, depression being a chronic condition is not something that has a single cause. It has multiple causes and you have to try to address as many as you can by doing things like exercising, improving your sleeping habits, cutting back on drugs and alcohol. If that's something you're using, you have to, you know, address all of those areas. Um, and again, addressing all of those areas is made, you know, more difficult or sometimes impossible by a person's social circumstances. And so I think having that assessment, and we do have uh, across our content ver various assessments uh, for social determinants of health, that can, that helps the provider identify areas where they might be able to help. Because if somebody is has housing insecurity, they might be able to refer them to some services to address that. If you're, they're having trouble, you know, buying enough nutritious food, they might be able to refer them to a food pantry or something like that and uh, our assessments help give structure to that process because otherwise you can kind of feel overwhelmed right because you i mean that's not what medicine is set up to do we're not set up to cure social ills and sometimes it's 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 easy to get paralyzed you know to feel overwhelmed and i think having the structure of the assessment kind of gives you some guidance on you know what resources might be available out there to help this person get out of of you know those circumstances